How did you like the idea of launching Perla in Norway before it was even published in the States? Mm. I think it's great because there's been this uh, interest in my books in, Nor in Norway and I think mm -hmm. it really proves that um, the stories that I've written so far are universal stories. Mm -hmm. You know, literature is really universal even though this book is about Argentina. It can speak to people everywhere and that's wonderful. In Parla, you, you tell the horrible story about the dirty war in Argentina. Mm -hmm. Why did you want to, to write about such horrible things? Well, uh, of course, it's a it's a very difficult issue. This uh, the dip disappearance of people who you know were kidnapped by their own government. It's very painful material. Um, but I think that literature has an important role in looking at human suffering and mm -hmm. and trying to understand it. And um, art is a place where we can make beauty out of suffering. And. Perla herself is a young woman who was raised in a military family in Argentina and who, whose encounter with this strange, sudden house guest um, forces her to come to terms with uh, her family's you know, hidden crimes in the military regime and, of course, the secrets of her own origins that she starts to take apart. And um, my, the most gratifying thing is when, um, you know, early readers of Perla have told me that this is a very universal story to mm. them, that it speaks to them deeply, not only about what happened in one country, you know, um, and living in the wake of, of violence, but also this journey of discovering who you are and what it means to become your best authentic self and how risky that is and how that sometimes means breaking some ties and, um, looking some things in the eye that are really difficult. And that's something that so many of us go through. Is that something that you recognize in your own life? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. That's been a big part of my journey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.